Okay, before we go any further, um, there is a concept that I would like to explain that is related to variable declaration and value assignment. And it is a concept that is a little tricky sometimes at the beginning when we're learning how to code from scratch, uh, because it's sometimes not very intuitive because of the way we have been trained in mathematics. Uh, and it is the fact that variable value, declare, value assignment is extremely dependent on the state of the program, and it has nothing to do with associativity between variables. Uh, that sounded like a mouthful, but let me explain what I actually mean with that. So let's say we declare two variables in our program, a and b, that has the value of 2 and 3, for example. And then something that I can do is I can declare another variable called c, which can hold the, the, the addition of the values of a and b. So actually, I can write this statement, c is going to be equal to a plus b, all right? And then if I print this to the console, then what we probably will get, as you may expect, is which value is this going to be? Can you, can you think it in your, in your head before I execute this, pro this program? Tuk, 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 tuk. I should put like a, like a washer. Tuk, 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 tuk. Yep, you're probably right. The value that we're going to print to the console is the value of 5, okay? Because it's a plus b, which are 2 and 3. Now, what if I did the following? If I were to now change the value of b, and I were to say b is now going to be equal to the value of 10. And remember, I do not write in because this would mean declaring the variable again. I just want to change the value of the variable that I already have. If I did this and I printed the value of C again, now what do you think the value of C is at this point in the life of the program? I'm going to give you two seconds. Thinking, 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 thinking. All right. If, um, if you are, have like a normal mathematical education, you may think, oh, so 2 plus the value of 10, so a plus b, 2 plus the value of 10, c at this point of life of the program should probably be 12, right? However, it is not. c at this point in the program still has the value of 5. What just happened here? <laughs> what kind of crazy, who designed this? This makes no sense whatsoever, right? Um, well, it does make sense within the framework of how computers and how imperative programming actually works. And let me explain that. Um, if we look carefully at this statement here, we might feel inclined because how we were educated in mathematics to believe that this actually means equality. It means that C for some reason, should always be equal to the value of A plus the value of B. This is equal to thinking that this is an equation and that whatever A and B are, C is always going to be equal to that. But that is not how uh, computers work and that is not how most of the pro modern programming languages actually work. This equal sign, to be honest, I feel that it should actually look more something like this. this which is not correct syntax, but this feels more real to what is actually happening in this line of code. In this line of code, what's happening is, is that when this statement gets executed, the first part that gets executed is the right-hand side of the statement, of the equal sign. Whatever value of A and B had at that time, those get combined, they become the value of five in this case, and then that value of five becomes, goes to the left hand side and becomes assigned to the variable C. All right. So assignment happens with whatever the state of these two variables was at this point in the life of the program, computes and then goes to get stored inside of the value, inside of the variable C. But after this line of code executes, then the relationship between A and B and C is absolutely gone. They are not linked by an associative, by an equation at all. What happened was it was a one-off. We read the values, we combined them, and we stored them in C. And after that, 
neither I, A, B, or C keep any relation whatsoever. That's why, after this code, when I assign a new value to the value of B, the value of C stays the same, because when we store the value of C back in line 17 of code, A and B together amounted to 5. And then afterwards, I have never changed the value of C at all. All right? This is exactly what I mean that assignment and computations are based on the state of the program at that point. The state of the program here was that A and B was 2 and 3, and that's why C is Z, C is 5, and will always be 5 unless we change it again for some reason. So what could we do somewhere here so that in this third line of code, the value of C actually got updated to 12, which is what we expected at the beginning. It would be just as simple as after we have updated the value of B, then just saying, let me write here that let me update the value of the variable C. So C should be equal to A and B again. And because at this point in line 23, the state of the program is that B is not 3 anymore, it is 10, then 10 plus 2 becomes 12. All right? And if I run this code, you can see that I'm getting 5, 5, and then the value of 12. So this is more close to what we expected. So it is true that we need to keep in mind always this stepwise logic to so this state-based logic of uh, imperative programming and how lines are executed one after the other and how uh, the values of things depend on the state of the program at the time a particular statement was executed. This is a super, super important concept and um, it's going to take us perhaps a little bit of time to wrap our heads around, but um, I believe that you will get used to this idea, this way of thinking computationally very soon.